To generations of young Australian music fans, the name Central Station has always meant one thing, dance. Central Station Records is an institution. From its retail stores across the country, its record labels, its chart hits, right down to its iconic logo. From the very outset, the story of Central Station Records has been intertwined with the history of dance music in Australia. Central Station was there at the start, a facilitator, a driving force in the growth of the local dance and club culture. In commemoration of its 30th anniversary, this is the story of Central Station Records, the story of dance music in Australia. The thing I remember most is just walking down those stairs and listening to the music pump through and when you got in there, it was like being at the heart of dance culture itself. Me and a DJ mate of mine used to organise these sort of bus trips and train trips over to over to Melbourne to go pick up. It was a big thing going to the store, and because we were pretty break, we used to actually pinch quite a few records. Here's Johnny. Here's Johnny was the first dance song that actually hit number one. No one could kind of understand where did this song come from? Who are these guys putting this stuff out? I met Joe at the nightclub and uh, we almost immediately started talking about the DJing, the music and our shared passion for the music. Yeah, Melbourne. but your music was rock and roll. You had some junky products in your collection. I had to throw them all out. We, yeah. we just you didn't throw them out. I actually found them for sale in the store. <laughs> right. you, were, you sold my entire record collection in the sale bin at Central Station Records in the city square. Ow. Real boom of um, DJ culture just taking off. Just you know, all these kids who just wanted to, to to get on decks. 1996 was when Wild FM, I think, um, pretty much kicked in, and that changed the way that Australia listened to radio. Gold record after gold record after gold record. It is cool more than anybody else. Essential. I've, I've always taken a lot of risk and believed in what they were doing, and it has put a really positive spin back into the scene. Who would have thought that local DJs could now be respected overseas and it's people like Central Station who, are, who have a global reach, who are getting Australian artists recognised overseas. You know, all of a sudden Aussies, Aussies are popping up everywhere. They're, they're, they're remixes, they're, their own tracks, you know, so we are making something of ourselves at the moment. 